Welcome to short tutorial. This is Eva Riazati and in this video I'm going to show you how I created thumbnail for my last video. The video was about using props and characters in Doodly. So here I have a Doodly logo which I bring to uh, to the screen and I open Doodly software and I'm going to find characters and props that I use in my video. So let's go and open the video, new video in Doodly, and look for the characters. In my video, I use a tree. So let's find a tree that I used in that video. And the tree was actually a palm tree. Here it is. So I bring it to, to the screen and I'm just going to take a, a screenshot. It's um, Control Command 4 on Mac. And I will do the same without the color because I use actually props without the color in my video. I'm going to do that with all the props and characters that I use in my video. I'm going to take a screenshot in color and without the color. Uh, and I'm just going to have them on my desktop ready. Now I have all the characters and props ready, but I need to remove the background because all the background is white since I, since I just took a screenshot and the background was white. So there's a website called remove.bg, remove background, and you simply drag the images to that website. I drag them at once. And then I just download PNG images, which means they are without a background. And I need those images because when I create thumbnail, usually my background is not white, but with the color. So I need the image not to have a background. Otherwise, it would be with white squares or rectangles behind the image. So that's what I'm doing here. I am downloading those images without the background and I save them on my desktop. You can see that those images have ending PNG, which means with a transparent background. So now I'm back in Pixelmator Pro where I will be creating a thumbnail and I already have Doodly logo there and now I'm also bringing those props and characters that I brought from Doodly and I removed background, white background. They should be transparent. So now I have characters and uh, logo here and I will work with it to create something that might be eye-catching for the thumbnail. So first what I want to do, I want to make this logo larger. So in, you notice that I clicked on arrow on the right upper right corner and then I clicked on logo which allowed me to work with the image and I made it larger and now I'm just trying to position it somewhere in the middle. You notice that that palm tree is actually not PNG picture because it had a white background. So I must have brought different picture 
this is the screenshot and not PNG picture. So I have to get rid of it and bring palm tree that is actually transparent. So I have to look for it. Those kits are transparent, so they should be okay. And uh, I probably forgot to make this palm tree transparent, so I brought it back to Remove Background website and downloaded transparent version of it. Now I just call it tree and I will save it to my desktop. Here it is and I bring it to my working place in Pixelmator Pro and now I can work with it here. So here is the school which is a little bit larger picture. So I'm trying to find a, a place where it would be not very disturbing. Sun, let's put sun on the top, make it a little bit larger. And I still haven't found a good spot for school. So I'm just putting it around and playing with characters and props. Like these children, probably they will put, I will put them somewhere on the bottom. I will make this palm tree bigger and I place it on the right side just to even out a little bit the sun on the left side and palm tree on the right side. Okay, I still work with the school. It seems too crowded up there. Also when I put it here, a little bit crowded. So let's see if um, I put his drummer up, but it seems like he's a little bit up in the air. So I, I bring him down again and take the palm tree a little bit higher up. Notice when I want to work with any of the picture, I have to click on it first and then it allows me to work with it. The, the background is white. I want to bring some color to my thumbnail to make it eye-catching. Orange is usually a good color to catch attention. So I I color the background yellow, I mean orange. So I'm still playing with colors and trying to find the best color for my thumbnail. Uh, you can see that you can color the layer. Pixelmator Pro is working with layers. So my basic layer is green, but then I can bring color to every layer because every picture that I brought in is it doesn't have a background it's transparent so I can I can make it colorful and give it a color so so far I have this green background which I like and when I'm playing with the colors I I look on the um, on that colorful circle and on the bottom left you can see the color that I would use so this one you see, I, I brought a color to doodly um, layer. You know, I have a doodly logo and that layer I colored orange. And now anything that is below these two layers is invisible. I have to bring it up. I have to bring this drummer up. I brought a sun up so they can appear on the screen. So now all my props and characters are on the screen and I just have to play with it and see how to place all those props and characters to be happy and I still am not very convinced with those kids they look kind of invisible and not very sharp um, and also the school is bigger so I'm trying to find a place where it can sit nicely on my screen so I'm going to minimize this doodly layer 
and it gives it nice uh, pop-up color. I like that green and orange contrast. Also, you can notice that because it's, remember, it's a transparent um, picture, the Dolly logo is a transparent, it has a transparent background. So the letters for D, O, O, and D also show green background, which is the background behind it. So what I'm going to do now, I have to bring colorful kits. So I'm going to bring them again to remove background website and just make the webs the background transparent. I'm going to name it kids color because I already have kids on my desktop. So let me just name this picture kids color. And I bring it to my Pixelmator Pro screen and let's make it a little bit bigger. I like it much better than those without the color. So I'm going to use this, uh, this picture rather than without the color. And I'm going to place them on the bottom under Doodly uh, logo. One more thing I need to do, I need to resize the picture because it's too big to be uploaded to YouTube. Um, so I just click on resize the picture and image size. And I always put the width 1800, which makes it smaller. And then I just uh, upload the image and save it on my desktop. Check out the description below. There's a link for the video this thumbnail was created for. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. Consider subscribing to my channel. See you in my next video. Bye.